Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can backup and restore the entire operating system on Redmi 2. So guys, for that you need to have a custom recovery installed on your device. So just in case if you don't know how to do that, I have already made a video for that. One using the PC and another one without using the PC. So you can follow any one of those methods and root your device and flash the custom recovery. So assuming that you have already installed or flashed the custom recovery, let me just boot into the custom recovery. You can enter the custom recovery in two ways. One is by using the updater app like this. Just go to tools, you have the updater app. Just give it some time until it finish checking for updates. And over here you have a button, there is a menu. Now select the last button option that is reboot to recovery mode and say OK. So apart from this, if you want to enter the recovery mode when the device is powered off, all you need to do is simply press the volume up and the power button both at the same time. So after a few seconds you will get the option to enter into the recovery mode. So guys now we are in the recovery mode. To back up the OS, let me just zoom in a bit. So guys now to back up the OS, all you need to do is go to the go to the fifth option by using the volume down button and to select it just press the power button and now by default it is selected as backup to SD card just click on that just select that by pressing the power button and once you do that the backup will start and it will start backing up all your user information and everything that is in the internal storage I mean the anything that is related to the operating system all your files will not be touched just the files that are related to the operating system will be backed up so just give it some time currently it is backing up the system and after that we'll probably back up all the user data and cache and everything else So guys now we have backed up the entire OS and now to just restore the OS all we need to do is simply go to the fifth step, press the power button and now you have an option that says restore from SD card, just select that and press power button. So as you can see there is only one restore option that is the one that we have just backed up right now and if you press the power button once again it will ask you for a small confirmation. And once you press yes, it will simply restore the entire OS. So guys, I have not inserted a memory card in this device. That's why I am not able to get options such as backup to external SD card or restore from external SD card. So guys, that's pretty much it. And just in case guys, while you are restoring because of some problem, if it crashes or if you are unable to boot into your system, you can again flash the stock ROM and get going. There is no need to panic. And just in case if you don't know how to flash the stock ROM, then I have made a separate video for that. Do check that out. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this video to be helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.